Well guys, how you doing? Uh, nice to see you all again. Uh, I've been off for a few weeks actually, I had uh, a few weeks holiday, uh, a bit earlier this year than um, than previous uh, years, uh, back before the Euros begin. So um, yeah, looking forward to the Euros starting, particularly uh, Scotland, um, playing in the opening game against Germany on, on, on Friday night. Look, I expect us to probably get walloped, but it's... Um, it's amazing to be back at these tournaments again, especially after um, missing out for so long, what, over what, 23, 24, 25 years maybe now. Um, obviously, we were, we were there a couple of years ago um, in the Euros during COVID, but behind closed doors, it didn't feel the same. So anyway, enough about that. Um, you guys are here and you want to hear about Newcastle. So um, good news today. Um, we brought you the news yesterday that um, Newcastle had finally uh, reached an agreement with Lloyd Kelly uh, over his permanent signing. Of course, he's a free agent, having left uh, Bournemouth. Um, well, he'll leave Bournemouth this week, um, but of course, he's a, he's a free agent. So Newcastle have been in talks with him for a, a, a number of months now. Um, he's had a lot of interest both here in England and also over uh, in Europe uh, as well. But the defender has decided that he wants to ply his trade uh, at Newcastle moving forward and wants to play under his former manager, Eddie Howe, of course, Howe, remember, uh, signed him, uh, oh God, maybe four or five years ago um, when he was manager of Bournemouth um, and he's seen enough in that time and since then uh, to make him decide to make the plunge again and, and give him a, a five-year contract with uh, the option of an additional year. So, um, yeah, Newcastle will feel it's good business because obviously they're getting him for, for free. They had their fingers burnt, obviously, with um, Tosin uh, Adebarayo, who, of course, uh, joined Chelsea. And I think, there's, I think there's a bit of a feeling that perhaps the player maybe used Newcastle to an extent to get a, a better deal at Chelsea and move to a London club without him really having to to move home either because, of course, he was playing for Fulham last season. So, look, it worked out for him that. But, look, I think Newcastle probably had their fingers burnt a little bit there are reeling a little bit from that so very important that they got Lloyd Kelly over the line so um, these pictures that um, we're about to show now um, were captured for us today on Sky Sports News um, courtesy of my, my colleague Dharma Sheth that is Kelly arriving uh, alongside his young family at uh, a London medical centre this morning to undergo the first part of that two-part medical so the player isn't yet up here in the northeast uh, we don't expect him up here until uh, later this week. Remember, the transfer window officially opens on Friday the 14th. So um, Newcastle can't make him a, an, a, an actual uh, player of theirs until the, the weekend. But look, they want to get the medical done. The deal's in place. The, 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 hand, the hands have been shaken and really it's just a case of the formalities now. So he needs to go through that medical. We've seen people fail medicals in the past, so important not to get too ahead of ourselves. But look, a solid piece of business, you would suggest, from, from Newcastle with the window, you know, 48 hours away from opening. And look, they, they knew they wanted to act quickly. Yes, of course, we know they need to sell. And, you know, we've spoken a lot about the players that might leave Newcastle this summer to help with the PSR situation. But because Kelly was a, a free agent, like Tosin uh, at Fulham, or now, or now Chelsea, should I say, um, these players were no-brainers for Newcastle. You know, if if he'd been under contract at Bournemouth, Kelly, you're probably looking for around about £25 million for him. So Newcastle will feel they've, they've gotten quickly with that one. And although they're disappointed with the Tosin deal fall, uh, falling through, um, at least they've got one of those two defenders that they're looking for. Of course, Kelly can play left back, left sided centre back um, and he will be a, a great deputy I think for Sven Botman who's going to be out until the, the end of the year. Dan Byrne of course did terrifically well towards the end of the season in that left sided centre, centre back position it could be the case where you could play Byrne there and play Kelly at left back or the other way around so it gives them it gives them good options, good versatility and uh, Kelly by all accounts is a, a good lad and a, and a good team player and someone I think that will um, that will augment what Newcastle have got at the moment. And, you know, you look at most of the signings that Eddie Howe has made since manager. Yes, of course, you can take Bruno and Isak that have come from, from foreign shores. But when you look at, look at the likes of Lloyd Kelly and uh, Dan Byrne, Nick Pope, you know, you could go through the, the whole team, Kieran Trippier, players that know the English Premier League, um, have done well here previously, and he feels that they can just come straight in and... Um, you know, hit the ground running and I think Kelly obviously 
fit, fits into that into that mould. So um, it'll be interesting to see where he does play. But even when Sven Botman does come back, you would like to think Kelly is good enough to try and keep his position uh, in the team. It might be the case that Botman plays centre back and Kelly plays left back um, but it leaves Newcastle still looking for a right sided centre back obviously they tried to sign Tosin I expect them to look elsewhere now they feel that Fabian Scherr needs um, a bit of cover a bit of competition there yes of course he had Jamal Lascelles last year but we all know he's missing till the end of the uh, the calendar year as well so look things I'm sure will hot up as the, the weeks go on still hugely early in the window with as, it, with, as I say it just opening uh, this Friday and not actually officially uh, open just yet but look I think Eddie Howe will be I think he'll be buoyed by the fact he's managed to get one of those two in. Frustrated he's not got both, but at least he's managed to get one of those two in. So, yep, that is Lloyd Kelly. Um, exclusive pictures on Sky Sports News, courtesy of my colleague Dharmesh Seth, um, in London this morning, having the first part of that medical. And hopefully later on this week, when he does travel up here to the northeast, we can get pictures of him. Uh, then as well so yeah hopefully bring you more of uh, this transfer stuff throughout the um, window if you've got any questions leave them below and I can try and answer them of course Newcastle looking for a number of players a goalkeeper they're looking for a right sided centre back they're looking for a right winger uh, should Miguel Almiron go and a centre forward should Callum Wilson go so um, look still expecting a great deal of uh, ins and outs I think it's going to be a long window I think a lot is going to happen I think there's a lot of moving plates and I think things will change pretty much by the by the day um, but with the Euros in the way at the moment I think it's pushing everything a little bit back in terms of getting business done so as I say they'll be pleased um, they'll be feeling quite content that they've managed to get one over the line in the shape of Lloyd Kelly who um, has signed that or agreed that five year deal with the option of an extra year uh, and he was in London as we've shown having his medical today okay guys leave your comments questions below and I'll try and get back to them and I'll see you in the next one cheers now bye bye